Money day, guys and girls. You're here with Boss Pips. I'm bringing you this week's market outlook. Now, guys, don't forget to check out www.lakecapital.co.uk and start your trading career here. Have a look at our site and see what we're about. Now, as we always do, let's head straight over to the economic calendar. Now, as it's the first week of the month, we are expecting, you know, some high impact news as we usually do on this beginning of every single month. Um, starting off on Monday, um, not really much. We do have some holiday in China and South Korea holidays as well. However, we do have some tank and large manufacturers index for the yen. Hopefully I said that right. Later on during the day, we do have uh, German manufacturing PMI. Also, PMI for the pound. And lastly, ISM manufacturing PMI for the dollar. Now, on to Tuesday, we do still have the holiday. It looks to be a three-day holiday. Or no, it's a whole week holiday for the China National Day. That's fine. Now, where was I? Tuesday. We do have RBA interest rate decision for the Aussie. And of course, the RBA rate statement for the Aussie. Next, we also have uh, job openings for the dollar. Moving on to Wednesday, still have the same holiday for China. Have some more retail sales and the ends of the interest rate and rate statement. So we do already have some key interest rate decisions for the Aussie and the New Zealand dollar. It'll be interesting to see how those pairs react. Moving on, we do have some composite and services PMI for the pound, followed by ADP, non-farm employment change for the dollar, non-manufacturing PMI, and as we usually do on a Wednesday, crude oil inventories. Looking on to Thursday, we do have construction PMI for the pound coming earlier on in the morning. We also have some monetary policy for the euro, initial jobless claims for the dollar, followed by IVP at my, PMI sorry, for the CAD. Last but not least, of course, we have Friday, the Friday of every month that we're looking so forward to. Of course, we have non-farm payroll with unemployment rate for the dollar. But before that, we do have some more PMI data for China. Last but not least for the week, we have CAD employment change, and those are high impact news for the week coming ahead. Now, I'm going to go through a couple of pairs with you guys. Of course, I'm going to start off with the S&P, the S&P. Um, let's just have a look at you know what's been happening. Now, in terms of how price has closed, especially when we do look at things from the quarterly perspective, I do believe that it gives us an indication of where prices are headed are headed to next. Um, in terms of my first original target, which was for price to close off this area, and the high was 35, 8.8, 8. we've actually managed to close it with the closure of this uh, quarterly bearish candle. Now, looking at this candle, we can see that price did in fact attempt to push up higher. However, you know, we've got a very large wick, okay? at the top there of the candle and this candle's closed incredibly bearish now it's very difficult to have any sort of optimism um, in regards to the stock market as interest rates continue to rise and inflation continues to worsen now looking from the quarterly perspective the only real area that i am looking out for is 3398.2 i do believe that's where we're going to head to overall which is just this bearish down candle and then we can decide once we get to here, whether we're actually going to see price turn around and potentially take out the highs. But, you know, these are, this is nothing but speculation at the moment. Um, you know, we don't know how long price will stay around this level and this this price point and this price area is quite large. So we'll just have to take it day by day, week by week, month by month. Now, moving on to the monthly picture, the monthly picture doesn't help either in terms of if you are bullish on the stock market. We have a very nice bearish structure that's going on right here with price, of course, pulling up as we saw there on the quarterly. Now, with the next month coming, we could actually see some bullish price action in the sense that the market may push up before we actually continue to come down. Now, I am looking around the low of this candle here, which is 37.21.6. Uh, just a slight pullback. We may potentially fill this area of imbalance, but we'll just have to see how it kind of pans out as time goes on. So yeah, we may actually push up a little bit higher. Um, we could potentially close and then we continue to push down lower, of course, looking for that quarterly candle. 
Now, as I head towards the, the weekly, we do have a weekly lip block here where, you know, the, the low of this candle here is 3883.3, which should be around the imbalance fill of this candle. So we'll just see how it goes as time goes on. Of course, this is just a bit of um, foresight, if you will, uh, just trying to have and keep an eye out for different areas where price can potentially play out with. So, you know, we may actually take out last week's high. Uh, that would actually be quite interesting. But, you know, right now, price action, especially if we go to the intraday chart on the full hour, uh, there's nothing that's really screaming out. Um, this will probably continue to just spool and keep on dropping down lower come the market open. Um, but we'll just have to see how things pan out. Now, you know, this is the same um, picture or similar picture, I would say, across uh, US 30 and also the NASDAQ 100. Now, let's move over to uh, my pair uh, pound dollar. Of course, we did see the, the pound reach all time new lows, you know, lows that we haven't seen since 1985. Um, you can't really see on this pair, but, you know, head over to the Lit Capital Instagram to, of course, see the reel that I made on the pound drop in. Now, having a look at the four hour, okay, let's have a look at the eight hour. So, on the eight hour, we do have an eight hour lip block here where price is currently holding. We've currently wicked and we have pushed down lower. I am looking for prices, you know, to potentially take out the low. However, we may actually get prices pulling back. We could also play into this eight hour uh, lip block here and for us to actually push up higher. Uh, as of now, there's no real confidence in the pound. Um, you know, this is more dollar influence than it is pound influence in terms of the overall drop that we have been seeing. Uh, so it'll actually be very interesting to see what happens next. As I move up in the time frame on the weekly, we could also head up higher to around uh, 1.14013 before we potentially push down lower. You know, we have been bearish for quite some time. So this push up, I'm, I'm not surprised the price will push up because we do need to take out some highs, take out some liquidity before we potentially push down lower. However, I do have more of an immediate setup for the pound um, that I was looking for towards the close of last week, especially when we saw price push up here. We took out the liquidity above the highs. We also broke structure in terms of shifting the structure. We are currently sitting inside this one hour candle. We did react. However, when I do head down to the lower time frame, especially on the 15 minute, and I do believe it is the five minute, there is a little area here where price may potentially head up into for us to grab a short. Now, like I said, this short may only, you know, head towards the eight hour area, you know, and for us to potentially push up higher, um, you know, I will take my time or I'll advise you to take your time, especially as the market is opening, um, just to see how market reacts. Um, because we're so close, we may actually just tap the area and move off, but I'll give it till, you know, Monday, Monday, New York, maybe Monday, um, London open, just to see how things kind of set up as we go. Now the dollar, especially when we look at things from the daily perspective, we have retraced. Now we are in a prime area for the dollar to continue pushing up higher, which is why I'm not really too, um, you know, confident on the indices pulling higher anytime soon, uh, because as the dollar pushes up, in indices usually come down and also um, anything XXX USD will follow. So, you know, the pound shorts do look all right. You know, if you are, Looking from the daily perspective, it's not too bad. As we come down to the full hour, you know, because we're in a daily area, I am actually expecting prices to push up higher. But with the dollar, we just need to take our time, especially as we do have NFP this week. So just trade safe, um, be conservative with your entries. And yeah, you know, rule number one is to protect your capital. And as always, guys, with that being said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, check out www.litcapital.co.uk. And with that being said, you know the vibes. It's lit side. Remember, every day is money day. Peace.